now Beyonce don't cancel Reebok so I had to take out my Hello Air Maxes and my Nike shoes I represent because the beehive buzz buzz Anyway guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Levette Jallo. If you're an oldie but a goodie, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for supporting. In this video, as the title already suggests, I will be showing you how I tint the lace on my wigs in an easy and fast way using some products that I've just found via Instagram. Again, I scroll through my feed and suddenly I see some bomb women and I click on their pictures because they look amazing and there I saw this product tagged and that's the only reason how I could find them because I have been using um, uh, fabric dye to tint my laces and it's such a hardcore work you have to add salt, hot water, soak it in, let it move to the left, to the right, up and down I don't have time for that then I found this product and it comes in about four different shades that I have here so the one that matches me the best it has been finest mocha that's the one I use to dye the lace on this wig that you saw you will be seeing soon but they have four different shades let me just bring them up they have four different shades so this is the absolute darkest this is the absolute darkest it's called Chocolate Darling, and you can see from the color itself, it is pretty dark. Then you have the Finest Mocha, Finest Mocha right here. Let's see. This one's Finest Mocha, a little bit lighter than the darkest one. Then you have Caramel Frappe for my light skin sisters um, and uh, that one's caramel frappe and then you have pure beige and now this is just basically white or beige um, beige skin and you can use that if you just want a transparent lace now what I tend to do when I make my wigs is back in the day I used to bleach the knots and then use the fabric dye now I bleach the knots and I spray the color that best matches me because a good thing about these products, the wig tint products, I get tongue tied just saying it. The great thing about the wig tints is that you can combine the colors as well. So if you're darker than me, you can go ahead and just use Finest Mocha in like two layers. If you're a little bit lighter but not light light, then you can combine these two by spraying one first and then topping it off with the other. Then you will get the right blend. Um, now I like how these work because from what I understand from the products is that they're infused with essential oils and it says here it is infused with lemon and lime essential oils um, providing antibacterial properties and dandruff prevention now when you wear wigs and you wear them often there will be less air coming to your scalp so obviously it's it can be caused for more dandruff. If you already have a pre-existing condition where you have overproduction um, and suffer from dandruff issues, then this will help you. It won't cure it, but it will help it not worsen. Now, furthermore, it says here, how to use for best results. Bleach knots and thoroughly wash lace to remove any product residue. Shake bottle well and spray over entire lace over the sink air dry or blow dry if more intense color is needed repeat the process um, alternatively bleach knots and thoroughly wash the lace pour enough product into a bowl and soak the lace for at least five minutes our full-time tinted range can be mixed together to achieve custom tones and this product is also um, I believe a vegan so it's pretty amazing no alcohol in it another plus for me and my fragile hair so anyway guys in this video you'll be seeing me dye the lace um, you will be seeing me use the spray I don't soak my lace into it I just have had no need what I use is I use the spray when I'm done bleaching the knots I dry it a little bit and then I go in and spray it um, evenly I let it sit overnight and then I spray it again now if I wanted to quicken that process I could always just use my blow dryer but I had time I wasn't going to style the wig at that present time anyway so I just decided to lay overnight and then I went in again 
So, that's all I have to say about the product, if you ask me, and if you definitely don't have time to be fabric dyeing and mixing and matching different dyes to kind of get your perfect colour, then this can make your life easy. It comes in a glass bottle, high quality, you can recycle that, and it comes in a uh, nozzle that you can use to spray, and it doesn't let out too much product so it's very nice and easy it's just enough to spray so this is after i have bleached the knots i'm just rinsing out the bleach out of the hair out of the lace and ensuring that it's clean and fully washed before i actually go ahead and uh, let it dry and apply the wig tip it's very important to make sure that the lace itself is clean, it's ready to be um, tinted. And I do use my Aunt Jackie's um, shampoo. It was the only shampoo I had close by, but I generally use regular shampoo for my wigs. And in this case, I didn't have regular shampoo. I had my Afro hair shampoo. And as you can see, the wig itself, already now the lace is more see-through than it was um, before I bleached it. And at this point, I lay out the hair. I'm gonna leave it for overnight to dry. So what I do is I just try to show you what the lace looks like. It's just see-through um, at the bottom, but you've got that little bit of orange tint there as well. Um, and that doesn't matter. It will all disappear once you spray it with the lip tint, uh, the wig tint, not the lip tint. Don't use lip tints for your wigs. Now the next day, the wig itself has dried. As you can see, there's an area that's brown which I had already sprayed. So I go in with the um, finest mocha, which is my skin tone, because I'm very dark skin in that sense. I'm not dark, dark skin, but I am, I, I'm on the scale of dark skin. So what I do is I take the spray, I spray it all over the lace, and it doesn't matter if it hits some of the hair as well. It doesn't actually color hair. Um, I spray it all over the actual lace, especially focusing on the actual edge of the lace itself, which is going to be laying on my forehead. And as you can see, the color just starts melting in. But because this particular one has red undertones, I go in with the caramel frappe on top of that just to give me the exact shade that my skin tone is. And I'll show you what the lace color is once I cut it off um, later on in the video. So I go ahead and I spray all over. Again, I do focus a lot on the edge of the lace and then I leave it to dry again overnight. So that's what it looks like. But once it dries, it com becomes completely different. So I will leave it overnight to dry. I don't use a hairdryer because I just find that a little bit extra work and I was about to make another wig so it was easier for me to just let it have its peace, let it dry and then wet in with another spray. You can do several layers if you choose to and I wanted to do extra layers because like I said I don't wash my wigs every single wig because, week because I don't wear them every week. Um, and this is what the lace looks like once I cut it off. Never mind my ashy hands, but the lace matches my skin tone a lot better. Now I just tinted my lace, but I didn't. I couldn't find my black wig cap, so I just used uh, my regular wig cap. So you should be able to see here. Can you see? It just looks natural, more natural than if I had just bleached it and left it. And also, I find it really messy putting makeup on the actual lace frontal because it just ends up staining my face staining everything wherever i hang the wig it always stains with this product apparently it stays on for six washes so after you sprayed it you can use the wig um uh, and wash it six times before it actually um, disappears from the lace which for me is perfect because when you have a wig and you take care of it quite well and you refresh it you probably wash it once every other month, unless it's a wig that you're wearing every single day. I don't wear any wigs um, every day for months on end. I have my natural hair most of the time. But for me, this makes my life easy because I'm a wig maker, even though I'm on a break and have been for some time. Um, when I make wigs for clients and I know their skin tone and makeup wise, I can mix and match these to create their perfect shape. 
and it just looks exemplary once you have it so anyway guys um, I just have to remind you guys as always that this video is not sponsored the wig gurus have not paid me to do this review I just wanted to and I always want to whenever I find something that works for me I want to give you a tip about it you make the decision that I can't give you any promo codes where I get paid or anything like that um, you just have to go to their Instagram check it out and if you want to order you order this is a black owned company as well and I just really feel like I want to push more on my channel black owned companies so that to help me, my followers find them a lot easier. I hope you appreciated this video. I hope you found it fun. And if you're here and you would like to see more tips about protective styling, do comment below, do let me know. I'm more than happy to oblige. I'm getting back in the groove of YouTube and posting more often and I'm really having a great time with it. Um, as for this wig, I can't say much about it. I made it myself. It was white blonde and I colored it to um, sort of a mermaid red. Um, so I, I make my own wigs when I wear them as well. So this is a custom made unit by me, colored by me and tinted by wig gurus wig ticked and yeah go say hi go look at their videos they are bomb diggity bomb 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 and in the words of beyonce this is a company that will reflect what you look like get it google reebok and, Rea uh, and, and beyonce and you will see um this is a company that represents what i like what i like to use and the owners also reflect who i am so i'm more than happy to give them my cash and make it ready. i can't sing i really need to stop singing i can't i love it okay i need to stop all right guys take care be kind to yourself then it's easy to be kind to everyone else i love you lots and there'll be more videos coming very soon so make sure you click that bell button because youtube want to play me and many other smaller youtubers by not notifying the people that actually follow us so help me out by clicking the bell so that you get notified every time i release a new video thank you